Every year, 35,000 people are reported as missing across the country. Some of them do return home, but many are never seen again. El Midoros, good morning to you. Today they're being remembered at a special memorial in Mandra. Good morning, Tim. Yes, they are. I'm here in Mandurah this morning at Administration Park where our friends and family who have loved ones who have gone missing will gather this morning to remember them. But one of the most high-profile WA missing persons cases is that of Hayley Dodd. Hayley was just 17 years old when she went missing in Bajangara back in 1999. And now her mother, Margaret Dodd, has become somewhat the face of missing persons here in WA. And this morning she joins us now. Good morning, Margaret. Thank you for your time this morning. Good morning. So it's been 16 years since you last saw Hayley. How have the last 16 years been for you? Uh, well, it's been an absolute nightmare. Um, it's you, you're forever searching, hoping that one day that you'll find uh, will find Hayley. Uh, it's been very um, traumatic for the whole family. Um, it's, it's just very very hard to live each day with. Now. It's just incomprehensible for anyone who hasn't been through this to comprehend how it must be every day for you, your husband, the rest of your family to go through this. Can you just give us an insight of what it is like going through this every day of your life for the past 16 years? Well, uh, when, when you lose somebody, uh, if it's in a car accident, you can deal, deal with that because you've, you know, you've got a funeral, um, an illness, you know what that person is, to not know where your loved one is, is the most difficult thing you could possibly go through in life. Um, you have nightmares, uh, you, you'll grab at any straw whatsoever to try and get the answers. It's affected the whole family. Um, I have four other children. It has affected them badly and they have to live every day with not knowing where their sister is. And now part of what you do now is supporting other families. How important is that support of all of you getting together to talk about you know what you go through. Um, it's it's very important. Uh, when Haley went missing, we we didn't know anything uh, about uh, people going missing, and we, there was no support whatsoever. So uh, I try to help anyone who has someone that's missing on to demand a, an investigation straight away, rather than just saying, "Oh well, wait," because there is no waiting period to report someone missing. Um, <coughs> If, if you have someone that's gone missing and it's out of character, report that, report the missing person straight away. The sooner it's reported, the quicker the police can act. Have you ever given up hope in this time for, for answers or to find Hayley? No, no, we have, done, we have uh, carried out that many searches. We've had psychics, we've had trackers, we've private investigators. Um, we've tried everything we could possibly think of. Um, we... we <laughs> And if anyone gave us a lead, we would go and look straight away. And just finally, can you tell us a little bit about Memorial Day today? Yes, the ladies of Zonta um, created this memorial nine years ago. It was um, inspired by Hayley's disappearance because we had nowhere to lay a flower for her or that birthday card. And they created this memorial for all missing uh, people. And uh, anyone that has someone that's missing and want to remember them, you can get a plaque place at the memorial here in Mandra. It's a, a really tranquil place and to sit there and just put that rose there for Hayley and talk to her, it just means so much to have somewhere to go. Provides you with that comfort? Yes, it does. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning, Margaret Dodd. Right, thank you. So, Tim, the memorial will begin at 10am here in Mandurah at Administration Park near the Dome on Mandurah Terrace. But, of course, for anyone who thinks they may have any information about any of these missing persons cases across WA, even the slightest bit of information could help police with their investigations. If you have any information, you should contact Crime Stoppers. The number to call is 1800 333 000. Tim. Elle, thank you.